This is CBS 5 News at 11 with Michael Benny. Eddie Dale Fire, Industrial Fire, Corner Wolf Street, Craft Ave. Breaking tonight, flames and smoke seen for miles. An auto dealership across from the Kraus Heinz facility in Salina burning. Tonight, the owner of the Hot Rides Auto Sales and Service says he doesn't think anyone has been hurt, but that massive fire drew a massive response from several fire companies. Tonight, they're still on the scene, and we're there for a live report just ahead. Breaking news tonight in Salina. Hold back uh, the structures and golf. He's got some cars going also. We're probably going to have an exposure problem with the uh, trees back here at the end of the building due to the uh, wind. Tonight, still pictures from the scene taken by people who just happened to be nearby captured the intensity of the fire during the worst of it. Flames shooting high into the sky. And because this drew such a heavy response from departments all over Onondaga County, people who were miles and miles away heard the sirens that were headed to that call. This is happening on Wolf Street in Salina, an auto dealer across from the sprawling Kraus Heinz facility, not far from 7th North Street and not far from the Syracuse city line. CBS 5's Mary Keeler is with the live by at the still very active and windy scene right now. That's right, Michael, and I'm going to step out immediately here. There are still visible flames coming out of the top of that building. It's hot ride auto parts, as you uh, have been saying, as we've been telling you, and it is the wind that seems to be perpetuating all of this, um, and we don't see any ladders or hoses up in the air right now, but there are still those visible orange flames and still a very heavy presence of uh, fire crews and sheriff's deputies and, you know, multiple departments uh, from around Onondaga County. Uh, and we spoke with a woman earlier who uh, her family owns JR's Diner, which is the business uh, right next door. And she says the wait to determine if there is damage or something has happened to the business that's been in their family for over 30 years is just agonizing. You know, I mean, my dad over there is obviously very nervous and wants to know what's going on. We don't know anything yet, so we're a little anxious. And we just heard from a fire official uh, who said that we should be getting some formal updates on what's going on here. But again, there are still visible flames coming out of the top of that building and the wind has not let up since we got here. It's been almost two hours now that uh, this scene has been and is still very active. Live in the town of Salina, I'm Mary Keeler. Yeah, there's so many thoughts for the people who own that business, Mary. There were two things that were on a lot of people's mind. Number one, was it the Kraus Heinz facility? We know that's not true. Uh, and also that diner, so many people love going there. No damage there right now, right? We don't see any right now. Uh, the the woman, is, her father has been standing out here with her. She said, you know, this is all she's ever known growing up. And she's she's worried about, of course, you know, the power being off. Uh, National Grid has been out here. You know, the food, will it keep all of that? She says normally he'd be in to open up shop at about 530. So they're just as anxious as ever uh, trying to, to wait it out to see just what is going to be in there when they get in finally. I guess the good news right now there are no reports of anyone including firefighters being hurt. Uh, Mary Keeler with the live eye at that fire in Salina. Mary when those fire officials come over we want to take it live okay. Got it. All right. Breaking live on Wolf Street in Salina right now we're about to get an update from fire authorities on the blaze at the auto dealership there. Describe what happened here tonight. Well, uh, we pulled up on scene here at a fully involved structure fire. Uh, fire was pretty much blowing right through the roof. Uh, instantly called in a 99, and we went right to outside operations. We had multiple teams going to each quadrant of the structure with multiple aerials hitting from the top side down in. Uh, roof eventually collapsed in. Still under investigation as of right now. Um, we are shutting down all operations as of right now so we can regroup some trucks and uh, get some more water back on the fire. Has the wind been a big buckets. problem? With yeah, the weather has definitely been a huge factor, as you can see by my gear. I'm completely iced over. I was over on the, the B side of the structure and just the wind and the smoke, it's just, it's not helping us trying to get the fire put out. So that's why we're trying to reposition trucks so we can try to get the fire to go where we want it to go so we're not chasing it. You talk about challenges of an auto shop and the fire that that presents. I mean, it really, the only challenges you're going to get is between the vehicles that are inside the structure. You got gas, you got air, 
I mean, you yeah, got multiple yeah, things that are inside right of a, an auto uh, shop that's going to make the, the fire progress even more. Yep. Yeah. Um, what crews do, have you guys had on scene today? As of right now, we have anywhere from seven to nine fire departments here right now. So that's averaging 55 to 60 firefighters right now on scene. Um, we have crews all over from Maddell, Hinsdale, North Syracuse, Liverpool, Salve, Taunton. I mean, we're all here trying to get this fire put out so we can all go home. Any damage um, to the to JR's diner or anything on the other side? No other structural damage to any other structures around. It's just mainly at the auto shop. Sir, I heard some loud uh, bangs when we first got on scene here. What, what was that, or can you describe what that may have been? The, the only thing that was going on, those loud bangs that you were hearing, is those were the actual tow trucks that were on the side of the structure. The, it was just the tires popping, so nothing, nothing serious to where it injured any firemen. So. We were able to counteract with that and then back off and then go back in to do some interior attack. So, What do residents need to know, Chief? As of right now, residents need to know that they can't get anywhere near the fire right now, so they just need to sit tight right now until this is all over with. Is power off in the neighborhood? Uh, do we have, I think the only thing that powers off is right now is just this tree. You said you were regrouping. What's the strategy moving forward? The only strategy that we're doing right now is we're just trying to regroup the truck so we can get them positioned so we can get more aerials in the front of the structure so we can get the fire put out quicker. Talk to me about the challenge of just doing this like coated in a sheet of ice. Well, being coated in a sheet of ice and you got hydrants and you got lines all coated, trucks are coated, it's definitely going to be a challenge for us to try to get done. Okay, and there's still, there were still visible flames just a couple seconds ago here. Yep, yeah, I mean, and again, we, per, per command of Manadale, they, they told us to shut down so we could regroup. We got we got the pre bulk of it knocked right now, but we're, we're we got a lot more to put out. Good. Thanks, Chief. Thank you. Um, let's see if Mary Keeler can hear me. I'm not sure that she can right there. But boy, it's uh, quite a thing. We're bringing Mike Brookins. Oh, Sorry. she is there. Mary, uh, the chief. I mean, coated coated in ice. Uh, that has to be horrifyingly Thick uncomfortable. Ice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he came right over to us, Michael, and he was kind of un unclenching his gloves from, mm. they were just, they were solid, they were coated. Uh, so they're battling, you know, not just a fire, but they're battling the elements truly out here. Absolutely. All right, Mary, thank for your work. I want to zoom into that scene. We'll let you step out of the way, and I want to bring in meteorologist Mike Brookins because uh, we, we can't go to the weather without talking about the way Chief looked right there. I mean, that ice was incredible on him. Yeah, they've got a lot of water being pumped down to put out those flames. At least the winds are consistent. They're not shifting around. So when you're battling a fire, you want to be able to get your trucks in a good position okay, to put out the fire without the wind shifting and the fires coming at you or the smoke coming at you because no one wants to inhale that. And they are consistently breezy, consistently cold winds as well. You can see uh, all the ice on him. And here's why. Temperature wise, it feels like five degrees for the wind chill. Actual air temperature right around 20 at 21. So Back to the fire on Wolf Street in Salina. Mary Keeler is there to bring us up to date. Mary. Michael, uh, we just heard from the uh, the fire chief, um, Car 3 and Maddie Dale, and he basically said that it has been an extreme challenge tonight. Uh, there's still, there are a bunch of hoses going back onto the top of that uh, building, which is Hot Ride Auto Parts, and he did confirm for us that the roof did kind of cave in and collapse, and right now they have received orders to basically shut everything down and regroup. Um, there are still a lot of people wondering what's going on here. The cause still under investigation, and the firefighters are coated in ice, so battling the elements out here, too. Live in the town of Salina, I'm Mary Keeler. We're glad they're all okay. Mary, thank you. The nightcap is coming up next.